Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, the NAACP, at the uh, 21st century. And of course, we have with us to talk about the NAACP in the 21st century, uh, the uh, president of the national branch of the NAACP, uh, Reverend Vernon Dixon. And of course, uh, Reverend Vernon Dixon, uh, let me welcome you to the show this morning. Th thank you for inviting us. And of course, uh, Reverend Dixon, we also might add that you are not only the president of uh, the national branch of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, but you're also the pastor of uh, Hobson United Methodist Church uh, in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. And of course, and that's why we made reference to you as uh, Reverend Dixon this morning. Right. Uh, Reverend Dixon, what we'd like to do today is to uh, talk about the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People at the 21st century, recognizing that uh, this organization was around uh, in the 20, at the 21st century, in the 20th century, and yes. it has played a very, very significant role. But before we get into that, uh, Reverend Dixon, let's have you as the uh, president of the uh, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People in uh, of the branch in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Let's have you to give us some information about your background, uh, your education, and some of the things that eventually led you to the uh, presidency of uh, this branch. And then we'll talk about uh, <coughs> the NAACP itself and then get into some of your programs. Well, first of all, uh, Dr. Hain, I just want to thank you for this opportunity to be able to come and to talk to you and to recognize uh, your achievements and your accomplishment in this area. And so it is indeed an honor for me to be here today. I'm a native Nashvillian uh, and um, attended schools in Nashville. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to uh, attend the integrated schools mm -hmm. because integration didn't take place until the year after I finished. Mm -hmm. And then I left the schools here and then went to Fish University. Mm -hmm. and. Then uh, after that was in the real estate business for many, many years in this community mm -hmm. before accepting my call to ministry mm -hmm. and moving on then to uh, Pastor uh, Hobson United Methodist Church. Mm -hmm. uh, my involvement with the NAACP started when I was a teenager mm -hmm. and under the leadership of then uh, Mrs. Curly Magruder, who was always mm -hmm. uh, getting youth involved in the movement mm -hmm. and teaching us about uh, this organization and, mm -hmm. and showing us ways that we might be able to be uh, responsible citizens in the community. And so mm -hmm. my early involvement started there. Mm -hmm. uh, later in my adult years, I worked uh, more directly with the Education Committee and for many years was the chair of that committee mm -hmm. uh, working through the desegregation suits that uh, came mm -hmm. through uh, uh, Nashville. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then ultimately, uh, uh, last year, some people came to me and said that they thought that I might be able to mm -hmm. offer the kind of aid leadership mm -hmm. uh, from the role of the presidency and so I uh, uh, sought that last year mm -hmm. and uh, I uh, am very thankful that the uh, members of the branch came out in such a strong number and to support mm -hmm. uh, my running for the office and ultimately in voting for me mm -hmm. uh, for that office. So that's my involvement and in how I've come. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a, a stretch of time when I was not involved in the mm -hmm. NAACP and kind of walked away and looked at it. Uh, but I began to realize that if we are going to make Nashville the kind of community that we really want it to be, we have to be involved in the NAACP. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I returned to the, uh, mm -hmm. to, to the branch and, uh, and made my commitment. I am a life uh, member of the branch, uh, now subscribing toward my uh, 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 Diamond Life membership. Mm -hmm. uh, and encourage uh, all uh, Nashvillians who want to uh, make this uh, city a better mm -hmm. place, particularly when they're focusing on issues around civil rights, mm -hmm. uh, that the NAACP is the organization that they need to belong to and to be a part of. Mm -hmm. uh, we welcome anybody uh, mm -hmm. who is interested in making Nashville a better place to come and to uh, join with us. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, when you talked about uh, what we're going to do for the 21st century, uh, it's important also to remember what we've done, to remember mm -hmm. what brought the organization into uh, existence back in 1910. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a, a national organization. We have branches throughout uh, mm -hmm. all of the 50 uh, states and particularly on college campuses are where mm -hmm. we are uh, very active and where I think the movement is carrying us mm -hmm. in the 21st century is that we've got to find a way to educate um, uh, our, our, our young people mm -hmm. about the struggles that are there and what mm -hmm. has done and what others have done in order to make the advantages for them mm -hmm. uh, that they now benefit from. Uh, so that's the, uh, mm -hmm. uh, that's why I'm involved and that's why I'm here today to try to get others and to convince Good. others that they and, need to be involved. And of course, you know, uh, before as we make preparations, uh, Reverend Dixon, for our first commercial break, 
Uh, it's a great challenge, I would imagine, uh, to uh, deal with <coughs> the uh, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People uh, in light of the fact that not very many of our young people know that much about the organization. And it, I would imagine that that's, a, that's one of the challenges. That's the great challenge mm -hmm. for us facing us today uh, because uh, the, the civil rights movement has always been grounded in young people. Mm -hmm. uh, when we remember in this city, the sit-ins that took place mm -hmm. in the 60s, it was young people, it was college people that went out and made the difference in the community. And so we do have to uh, educate them uh, and to make it also relevant to them. Let's, let's take this first commercial break, uh, Reverend, and then we'll come back and talk about uh, the civil rights movement and some of the other aspects of the NAACP. And we'll be back with you following this very, very short. The topic is the National Association.